Hi everybody, I'm McKendra with the National Association for Gun Rights. Today I'm going to show you how to rack the slide of a modern semi-automatic pistol. Like this one. Now, lots of people who are new to shooting tend to shy away from semi-automatic handguns like this one because they're intimidated about not being strong enough to rack the slide. However, I'm here to tell you that racking a pistol slide isn't about your muscles, it's about your technique. Now, before we start, let's go over some basic safety rules. First, always treat every gun like it's loaded. Second, always keep your gun pointed in a safe direction. And third, always keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target and you're ready to shoot. Since we won't be shooting today, just make sure you stay away from that trigger while you practice racking your slide. Now, let's go over some of the lingo we use when talking about a pistol like this one. This part here, this is your grip, and it's the part of the gun that you hold on to when you're shooting or handling the gun. And this is the slide. Usually there are some grooves towards the back of the slide, like this one right here, and the grooves are there to help you get a better grip on your slide. Now, one of the most common mistakes that people make when learning to rack a slide is that they try to pull it back with two fingers, like this. As you can see, it's quite awkward and really hard to get a good grip with two fingers when you're holding it that way. Now, other people try to grip the slide like this, and again, it's very awkward, and it makes pulling the slide back really hard. Also, holding the gun too far away from you like this makes it really difficult to get leverage, so you wanna pull it in close to your body like this. That's the way to go. Now, like I said before, successfully racking a slide isn't about the muscles, it's about your technique. So, now that you know what not to do, let me show you how to do this like a pro. So, first and foremost, if you're sitting down, stand up. It's much easier to get the leverage you need to rack the slide from the standing position. And, let's face it, it's more than likely that when you're actually getting ready to do some shooting, you're going to be standing anyway. So, it makes sense to practice it that way. Next, you're going to get a good grip on your gun with your strong hand. Now, your strong hand for most people is the hand that they write with. Yours may be different, but if you're not sure, just start with your dominant hand. So, for me, it's going to be my right hand. So, to get a good grip, you want to think about shaking hands with your gun. You're going to get a nice firm hold of it right up at the top of the grip, and then you're going to tighten your fingers around the rest of the grip, making sure that you keep your finger off the trigger like this. Now, with your support hand, which is your non-dominant hand or the hand you're not holding onto the grip with, you're going to reach over and grip the slide like this. This position of your hand will give you the strongest grip and the most power for racking your slide. Now, let's talk about the motion you'll be using. Rather than keeping the gun in one place and tugging on the slide, you're going to be using a push-pull motion. Your strong hand is going to push the gun this way while your support hand pulls the slide in the opposite direction. This is what it looks like. Notice that after I pulled the slide back, I immediately let go, allowing the slide to spring forward on its own. You don't want to help the slide go back forward. If you do, you can lead to a lot of problems like how your ammo feeds, and you can even get your skin pinched in the process. So, don't do it. Remember, let the slide go forward on its own. And one more thing, ladies, I'm speaking mainly to you. Don't be afraid to be assertive with your gun. Guns are tough. They're built to withstand an explosion every time they fire, so you're not going to hurt it. In fact, you'll have a harder time operating your firearm if you're too gentle or you baby it. So, that's how to rack a slide like a boss. Now, if you want to see more videos from the National Association for Gun Rights, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to join in our grassroots fight to protect our rights, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching.